It's it's true. It's come across. The doctors told me I only got one day left to live. Tomorrow, I have certain I have a hundred percent fatality rate. I'm gonna die tomorrow. There's no way around it. I have one day left to live. What what do I wish if I could have done this over, this life over in my short period of time that I've been given the gift of life? What would I have done over again? What have I tr done different? Do this exercise real quick before watching the video, even if this is at the end. Go get out a sheet of paper and write down if today was my last day on earth, what would I have regretted most? What would I have done differently? What would I have done differently with my life if I knew today was the last day? You can write out your list and it's going to probably look somewhat like mine. And this could be what you truly value if I was given a second chance. In today's video, I'll run you down with a list of the things I would do differently if I was not dying today. And this is a joke. I'm not actually dying. I'm just using this as an example. If I actually were, I hope I don't. That's the thing in the video. If I were to die today. First off, I wish that I would have done more of my life and that I would have taken more risks and gotten more experiences. When I think about my life, there's a lot of missed opportunity. You know, I would like stay at home a lot and I'd play video games just like a normal kid. I would uh, play Fortnite, play World of Warships on my PS4, stay at home. I didn't really go out that much. I didn't, I lacked the opportunity. I could have gotten way more experiences. So looking back, I wish I would have done more. I wish I went out and did more, hung out with more people, recorded more videos, just gotten more experience, taken more risks. Because, you know, I go through life and I just choose the safe route every time. I hang out with the same guys that I normally do because I know it's safe. I know I'm comfortable with doing that. I don't try to push out of my comfort zone. I just stay in what I'm comfortable with. I don't try to expand it. I don't try different sports. I don't try to necessarily record different types of videos. I kind of stick with the same stuff. And I wish that I would have done stuff differently. I would have recorded different videos, hung out with different people, and chose to go on different experiences. That's what I would have done better. That's what I would have changed if I were to be given a second chance. Now the next one on the list, I wish I didn't I wish I didn't care as much about what others thought of me and I didn't let them hold me back. Obviously I'm human, I'm gonna care what other people think, but I didn't have to think as much as I used to. I would constantly think like the people's approval is really a strong thing. It almost prevented me from creating this YouTube channel. I was too afraid of what my people might react to, how I might be treated, what problems might occur for me, doing something that is not socially acceptable, really. And I let that hold me back from stuff. I don't really talk to girls because I'm afraid of getting the reaction. I might look weird in front of my friends. I might, I'm afraid to like speak up and talk about the things I want to with my friends because I don't know I'm just afraid so I wish I didn't care as much about what other people thought in the way of letting inhi inhibiting my potential experience I wish I didn't let what other people's opinions dictate what I did with my life I wish I just did stuff regardless I made a YouTube channel I wish I could have started a YouTube channel way earlier had I not cared what other people thought. I could have done so many other things, you know, talked to my friends about what I wanted to talk about, hung with the people that I found interesting. If I just didn't care as much, if I didn't do stuff, there's plenty of examples I have. If I just didn't care as much about what other people thought. Now the next one is. I wish I talked to more girls. I would give up plenty of opportunities to talk to girls. I've had so many opportunities to talk to girls. Yet I always would. 
miss skip the opportunity. I'd always be too scared of something. I'd maybe I don't want to. I can do this tomorrow. I don't want to talk to this girl today. You know, I get too afraid, and then don't hold up the conversation with the girl because I'm afraid of pushing, pushing it and looking like a weirdo. So I don't try to stick it out. I don't approach girls because I just don't too afraid of it. I could obviously. You don't my the common excuse I'll refer to is I don't know how to talk to a girl if I were to approach one. But the truth is the way you learn something is by just doing it. You can't be afraid of failure. The way all the players you see, they failed at talking to girls at some point. They had to. You learn best from experience. So the way to get good at talking to girls is actually just doing it without having experience to begin with. So that that argument I have that I'm not good at talking to girls, it doesn't apply. You're not good at talking to girls, so go approach more girls so you become good. It's it's okay. You're going to have bad experiences at first. That's the cost of entry. You need to be okay with failing and not sticking with a girl the first time. So I wish I talked to more girls and got those experiences. I feel like the general theme of this is I wish I got more of each type of experience. More experience talking to people. More experiences with talking to people. More experience just in general life. More experience with girls. I wish I could experience more of life. Because that's what life is really for. Life is for the experience of it. It's for getting and knowing and seeing. And doing as much with your senses as possible. (laughs) And going with that theme... I wish that I had a better relationship with my family. You know, I didn't really talk to my family that much. I don't have as good of a relationship with my family as I know I could have if I were to talk more with them, maybe engage more. You know, my mom, I don't really talk to her as much. I don't really go out of my way to strike up a conversation. I don't really talk to my dad at all. My brothers, I don't have that good of conversations with them. I never try to engage. I never strike up or talk or interact with them. I never talk about plans for the future or getting them on self-improvement. That's really something I struggle at. I don't know. I might just have some deep-rooted fear. But I don't think it's natural for me to have a distance relationship with the person I'm supposed to be closest with. Your brother, you, who can you trust if not your brother? Your own blood, the p- closest person that you grew up with. You've known, these, you've known your brother your entire life. Your brother's known you. If he's younger, he's known you his entire life. Your late f- brothers, that's the closest someone can be. Yet, you choose not to be with your own brother. You choose not to be close with him. Isn't that kind of fucked up, don't you think? You're missing out on so much potential experience, so much more life to be lived, so much more possibilities. You're passing them up because you're afraid of a little a little negative emotion that's not even going to last more than a minute. Initially, if you get rejected by your brother in something, the initial thing, getting it started, getting a conversation rolling with them, you're afraid of a one-second, one-minute failure that could last if it went correctly it could last a lifetime you're passing up something huge because you're afraid of something that's not even there it's not you're not going to get rejected because he's your brother so if I could live more and hypothetically this was not my last day I would want to form a stronger relationship between my family in general, me and my family. Talk to my brothers more. Talk to my mom, my dad, my brothers. Get everyone more. Maybe even hang out more with the dogs. I don't really even pet the dogs that much. To me, they're just animals. I don't engage with them or try to take them on walks or pet them. So even more of that stuff. I wish I could do more of that. I really 
miss out on a lot of possible life to be lived. And my high school career is almost up. And it's really actually quite sad. If I don't pull my shit together, I'm never going to have this stuff. I'm going to pass it all up. I'm going to move out before I even get any of this thing. I need to build strong relationships with my family, with my school, with the people in my life. I need to, I'm missing out on so much potential experience. And the highest ROI thing you can do is get experience. And I'm deliberately getting rid of it. I never thought of it that way. I need to get, I need to do these things that I'm missing out on. And I need to get more experience. The lowest ROI thing you can do is to sit in a room, sit in a jail cell basically, and get no experience. The way we get furthest in life is by going out and getting experience in the world and learning about our world through our senses. So, get more experiences. That's what I want to do. That's the whole thing of this. Okay, just the final one, basically. <sighs> final thing. I wish that I didn't waste so much time on video games and cheap hits of dopamine. And I wish I have done stuff more meaningful and done stuff with other people. And meeting new people, doing new things. TikTok and YouTube are... Not a substitute for real world experience. They're fake. And I wish I did not waste as much time as I have on those apps. Video games, same thing. I'm just. I'm basically just playing somebody else's. It's a video game. I'm paying somebody to fucking play their game. It's fake. It's not meaningful. It has no value. You're going to play Fortnite. I have no memories of football Fortnite, really. No meaningful memories. I just play the game for 12 hours a day. I log off, and that's it. It's just a waste of time. It's an empty void. So the real way to have a meaningful life full of happiness and meaning and purpose is to avoid these things that have no meaning and do things that are meaningful Spending time with people who you value. And doing things you value. Getting experience. I just listed a bunch of experiences. So that's basically it. I wish I didn't waste experience. I wish I didn't waste opportunities to gain experience. Wasting being YouTube, video games, stimulation, dopamine chasing. And I wish I did more meaningful stuff, like being with friends and family, talking with family, doing meaningful experiences, not letting my friends step in the way of me getting more experience. So I just wish I could have gotten more experience in general. That would have changed my life so much. But the joke's on me is I'm not actually dying, and I do have a chance to actually use these steps I'm not dying, and I get to have an opportunity to look back on this video and change my life. I just listed everything that is valuable to me. I just listed a blueprint to how I can live a life that I want, how I can change my life for the best, and I need to go up, watch this video back and apply everything. Take this as an opportunity. Just make the proper changes. Look back on your list. And actually act on some of the stuff, like, make small steps and start changing your life. Maybe I'm going to go spend more time with my brother. Maybe I'm going to talk to my brother today. I'm going to take that actionable step. I'm going to go make sure, make it a job to go hang out with a different person today at school. I'm going to make sure that I block out YouTube and never go back on that shit again. I'm going to delete all the video games off my fucking console. Put that shit in the closet. Just little actions we can take to make our lives so much more meaningful. So do this exercise right now. And I promise you, it will have tremendous benefit.